one of the questions uh, is how did Adjacent start and how did uh, a band become known um, throughout the area and, uh, and throughout the world. So um, basically I started the band. I um, have always loved uh, rock music. I love pop music. And, um, I wanted to create a band that had a positive message and encouraging message. Um, to put out there um, to the world. So I honestly, I just started simply by doing auditions like um, the, um, one of the band members, Joey Sepulveda. Um, I um, put out an ad and he responded on Craigslist. And um, yeah, I know, <laughs> Craigslist is dangerous, but thankfully it worked out. So yeah, he came in for an audition and I was looking for a drummer too. So he's like, yeah, I have this friend. Um, that plays drums, and uh, Chris Calix, who's he's now in Ignescent, and so he came in, I think it was the next week, and he auditioned too. Um, and then Ian Sebastian, he's the current uh, bass player for Ignescent, and um, he actually uh, knew Joey too, so um, that's kind of how we all met. Um, and Dev Miguel Elion, he is the lead guitarist of Ignescent, and I actually contacted him on Band Mix, and um, I just wanted, you know, I just say, hey, do you want to come in for an audition? And he said yes, and thank God he did, because he's just been an uh, incredible blessing to the band, and um, kind of just all click, and we have love the same style of music. It's just worked out really well, and we just have a lot of fun on stage, off stage, at rehearsals, and so, um, yeah, I'm super thankful, but... That's kind of how we all came together as a band. So another question is what led me to work with, or me and the band to work with Diminished Pitch Entertainment? And how long have I known John Jeff, um, Randy Berry? And um, yeah, I just, basically I was, I wanted to get um, our name out there more. I wanted to get um, our songs uh, on the radio and just out there um, and our message out there more and so um, we just met online. I've only known um, John for for about a month. I think the first time I talked to him maybe was <clears throat> maybe it was like a year ago but um, as far as starting to work with him and everything um, it's been it's been about a month and so uh, he's just been promoting us on on Facebook more and trying to get the word out there more about Ignescent and our music. Yeah, we've been working together. It's, it's pretty new. Uh, we just started working with a new management company as well, uh, Sight Set North Agency, and they work with Eva Under Fire and a bunch of different bands. And so they're helping us with management and booking now. We actually have a show they just booked for us in Ohio in May. Uh, it's a Saturday, I think it's May 16th. But um, so yeah, we're excited about that. We have some other shows coming up. We were just uh, booked at a fest in Chicago on April 4th. Um, we'll be at Grace Festival in Michigan on April 25th. And uh, another festival, uh, I think it's June 25th in Angola, Indiana. It's Capstone Music Fest. That one actually is a brand new festival, so excited to play there. And there's a bunch of other ones. Um, they'll be added to the website very soon um, if they're not already on there. But you can just check out our website in uh, under the Shows tab. It's www.ignescentmusic.com. And everything's on there. We also promote our shows like maybe a week or two before um, on our Instagram page um, and our Facebook page. And uh, like I mentioned before, those are all under Ignescent Music. So yeah, if you want to check out our different um, shows and what's coming up, just go to the website or our Instagram um, or our Facebook page. Thanks. Hey, 
Hey, I am Jennifer Benson with the band Ignescent. Thank you so much, Beef Pile Radio, for having me. I really appreciate it. We started in 2011. Uh, you can check all our information out at www.ignescentmusic.com. We're on social media, um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, you can just check us out at Ignescent Music, and it's just spelled I-G-N-E-S-C-E-N-T Music, Ignescent Music. Um, we've got to do a lot of things, so many things that I didn't think we would be able to do as an independent band. So I'm um, super thankful, pretty grateful for that. Um, but we've got to play in Vans Warp Tour. We've got to open for bands like Flyleaf, open for Eve Six. Um, we've opened for and share the stage with Gemini Syndrome. Uh, we've uh, opened for OTEP. We've opened for Lacey Sturm. Uh, September Morning, um, that's an amazing band. Uh, we've opened for Striper, um, so many, so many incredible bands, and it just, it's just so crazy what we've gotten to do. And we've also shared the stage with uh, bands like uh, Stars Go Dim. We've played at fests um, with Switchfoot and um, and Jeremy Camp, uh, Memphis Mayfire. Uh, just so many uh, incredible bands that I look up to. So that is a little bit about Ignescent, about us. But thanks so much for uh, tuning in.